Hi guys, today I want to show you the update I got from Microsoft. This is GDR3 update. Um, before you can get this update, you have to be an app developer or you have an account with Microsoft in App Studio. Then you can get the update. But you have to get this update at your own risk. You gotta get this update at your own risk. Um, what is cool in GDR3 update? Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about in GDR Free Update is the uh, ability to close the app running in background. You know, I think this is kind of eliminating this button. This back button might be useless. I gotta be honest. This arrow button might be useless. That is the truth. Because once you can close the apps in background, why do you need to back, 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 you know, if you use the arrow button? I think it's just that some people don't get it. You know, some people can't just get it that, oh, what this arrow button does, you know, some people just don't get it. But that's not my concern. So, um, what I want to do now is um, just want to show you how it works, you know. Okay, um, I just... We, I'm gonna go to some application. Yeah, okay. Let me open under apps so that you can see how these closed apps running in background works. Now I've got a few apps running in backgrounds. So let's see how many apps I've got. I've got okay, cool. So if you want to close any apps running in background, all you just need to do now is just click on the X. You see that X button to close. You see that? You see that? You see? That is it. This is very good. This is GDR free update. You will not get this in your Lumia Amber GDR2 update. No, you will not get this. This is only for GDR free update. And it was released today. And next thing I'm going to be talking about is um, the screen lock. You know, a lot of people have been mourning, especially those on Android that they want Nokia to come to Android. And major some of their major reason is because oh on my on Windows oh we can't we don't have screen lock blah 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 but now this is your answer there's a screen lock now when I turn my phone to this orientation you see it changes to landscape when I turn it back it changes to portrait so now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna go to the screen lock application you see screen rotation then auto rotate screen I'm just gonna off it. So once I off it, so if I go back, you see, it doesn't change. Turn it upside down, doesn't change. Turn it, turn it, it doesn't change. So that is the auto screen lock. Oh, sorry, that's the screen rotation. I said auto screen lock. I'm really sorry about that. So that's the screen rotation. And another thing I noticed in this update is, um, so I got to do the screen rotation back because I like it. Uh, another thing I'm going to be doing in this is the driving mode. This is a you gotta set up a driving mode if you have a car that uses Bluetooth. You know you have to set up a driving mode for um your phone. Once you get into your car, if your Bluetooth is on, automatically this will this will activate your driving mode, and whatever command you've put on will be activated. You can disable calls while driving you can disable test you can do test only you can disable all phone notification it's up to you it's just customizable for you if you want to do so if i go to next you see it's a call test off so in, in, ignore calls ignore test if i own it it's going to do that while i'm driving then i have to hide the device you know which is your car device or your car wireless bluetooth device that will connect your phone and your car together and that is that on the driving mode and um i think those are the three major things and i think is that the, uh, you have you can now attach files from internet to your mail in this update that is it um but um i don't know maybe you guys know about this application it's called the glass background where well, I'm, I'm sure some of you must have heard about it there is it the glass background but what it does is it allows you to add your own custom image to your glance screen. You see, this is called glance background, but this is still on better version. But I'm not sure if you can get this in the Windows Store because I got this using a QR code online. 
but if i get the qr code or if you want you just request i might look for it but i'm sure most of you guys must have seen this glance background what it does is you can add your custom image to your okay i'm gonna do a sample now i have no image on my glance screen look how my glance screen looks like that is it so if i double tap if i help on it if i put my an image on my glance screen if i lock it look how it looks like but this will kill your battery i gotta be honest this will kill your battery unless you don't you have it on peak mode because i got my own on peak mode so my peak mode means when you hover over your phone it comes on you can see it's gone off so if you hover over your phone it's gonna come on you see you see how it works so that's it if you have this on 247 sorry your battery will die quickly so i think those are the major things i want to talk about and then the good news is just that though microsoft said they are not going to be responsible if you damage your phone blah 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 you know they just have to say that because it's their own terms and condition so people might not do well so people might get it wrong while they're trying to update but after how updated you know everything works flawlessly even faster to be honest even the program i was surprised the way it loaded quickly you know it's just like i'm running a two gig ram you know loaded so quick see everything was so flawless and smoothless you know that's just crazy yeah that's what microsoft is doing so that's just it um that's what i want to say about this and um, glance update and sorry the glance background and the gdr free update you can see this is still the old lumia 920 and if you have a lumia 925 sure you should be able to get this update all lumias all lumias but i'm not talking about the low hand lumias like lumia 520 i'm not sure maybe you're gonna get these better versions i'm not sure i'm not saying you're not gonna get it i'm not microsoft you gotta ask microsoft if you're gonna get it but i'm, I'm not gonna say it but i'm sure any lumia from lumia maybe 820 920 925 1020 of course you're gonna get all this up if you are an app developer or if you register as an app developer in the not in the microsoft app studio then you're good to go getting this update so that's just i want to show you guys so let me know what you guys think about this new update it's very cool i like it let me know maybe you guys like it or you guys want to ditch it thank you